over at that, Scott Kelly and flight engineer Chell Lindgren moved into the Unity module where they remove the control panel assembly from the common berthing mechanism. That's in order to improve access to the space between the hatches of the Unity module and the new Cygnus cargo ship, which was berthed to the Nader docking port of Unity on Wednesday morning. Uh, Kelly then continued with uh, outfitting that vestibule. A little after 4 o'clock this morning, Kelly and Lindgren returned and they opened the hatch on the new vehicle, the uh, SS Deke Slayton II. See Commander Kelly uh, with a salute to the uh, picture of the late astronaut uh, Deke Slayton. That hatch opening took place at 4.10 Houston time this morning. Also noted the air that's in there. Then they uh, went about installing some handrails and uh, they'll send in some ventilation ducting. That way the crew members will be able to move freely in and out of the Cygnus cargo vehicle when they begin to unload the more than 7,300 pounds of cargo which it's delivered to space.